Hello and welcome back to another Let's Play of RimWorld. So let's uh, start the game. And, um... Yeah. Probably should have done another episode sometime this week. I was planning on doing a Factorio episode sometime this week, but the timing just didn't really work out. Um, yeah. Getting some wisdom teeth pulled on Friday. So, that's going to be great for putting up Let's Play episodes, seeing as how, even though, like, basic healing takes, like, a week, maybe half a week, like, two or three days for getting a wisdom teeth pulled, at least I did last time I got wisdom teeth pulled. After that, your jaw just kind of locks mostly shut, at least it did for me. I couldn't open my mouth more than like a third of the way. Um, that kind of sucked. I don't know if I'll be able to record episodes with my jaw not opening past a third of the way. Anyway, hopefully this episode we will... Ooh! We just accidentally tamed a boomalope. That's kind of cool. Just... I mean, I might end up using the Boomalope as a suicide bomber, but, um, there it is. Boomalope 1. Training? Haha! <laughs> I can be trained! I'm gonna do obedience, and I guess might as well do release training as well. Because release is, I think, the combat attacking. Hey! We're making our geothermal reactor. Anyway. Uh, so we'll definitely get that done this episode. Let's, uh, build a limestone wall here to fill in this little gap. That'll work pretty well. Yeah. Things are going surprisingly well. Still need to work on heaters a little bit. Let's see here indoors, 20 degrees, and uh, yeah. It goes down to 16 and 15 out here, so we're definitely going to need a couple more heaters. Let's do that. Anyway, even though this isn't really a political channel, like even remotely if I wanted to do a political channel, I'd probably end up doing a separate political channel. Anyone else uh, notice how just absolutely ridiculous the American political system is like completely ridiculous I don't know it just kind of takes so long you know I, if I was uh, if I was a betting man which I am mostly not but I could be you know like uh, Donald Trump announced his presidency in like the winter of last 2000 or 2015 which is like a slightly more than a year and a half before the actual election. For some reason, I feel like by the time I'm 60, I'm, we're going to have people announcing their elections while the person that is about to get elected hasn't yet taken office. And might still be in there for a second term. That's eight years ahead for those of you keeping count at home. I just feel like that's going to be a reality at some point. Just, you know, like, I'm sure there's some kind of political maneuvering going on behind the scenes that we're, we as the general public are not privy to. Like, I'm sure Obama was jockeying for a seat in the White House back eight years before the election, as I'm sure pretty much every politician is. But at the same time, like, I, he didn't publicly announce that he was going to be running in the 2008 election until, like, 2007. And for some reason, I, I get the feeling that in the candidate for the 2064 election is going to announce his candidacy in 2056. Um, which I think is going to be entertaining. I realize this isn't 
on topic for uh, those of you that live in I think the only views outside of the US that I that I get based on analytics are in the UK I think I got a couple from France and one or two in Canada so um, I, I fear one of those people sorry this doesn't really affect you actually now that we've got our uh, geothermal generator. Let's uh, let's turn off this fuel generator because we are doing great on power. Um, as a byproduct of that, let's uh, let's build another battery. I'm thinking I'm gonna start building them sideways. That'll work better because then they can be repaired from one side, and you know you don't really need to go there. Anyway, there isn't really much benefit to putting this one sideways because we still need access to this research bench spot, I presume. I wonder how big this multi-analyzer is going to be. If it's like a one by one square, can I build it here and have it count to both of these research benches, or does it gonna have to be like one here and one there? Or if it's a two by four, I might actually have to tear down that battery. I probably shouldn't have built it right away. Oh well, we'll figure that part out as we get to it. Yeah. For those of you that have been uh, waiting for another Factorio Let's Play, sorry, haven't really done one of those in a little while. I was planning on doing one this week, but the timing just really didn't work out. I might have mentioned that a little bit earlier. Um, that's why I'm doing a RimWorld Let's Play. Like I can, I've been doing 20, 30 minute episodes with RimWorld, which is much easier to fit into my schedule than an hour-long Factorio Let's Play. Alright, we've done a bunch of cool stuff. Let's do... I'm trying to decide between tube, television, fire foam, and machining. I'm going to do... television. And that's just to make people happy. Like, I'm going to stick a TV in here. Ideally, that'll work. Let's see. We should have multi-analyzer. Let's see. Oh, uh, boy. Yep, that's a 2 by 3 Okay. Let's, uh, let's knock this uninstall. Awesome. Didn't know that we could do that. The uninstall is actually a pretty sweet mechanic that I am happy got applied to batteries. So let's install this battery somewhere over here. This is still just the heart of my base right here. Sadly, we don't have any gold to build that multi-analyzer though, so let's, uh, let's see if we can mine some. Compact machinery, that was steel. This is all steel. Doop a doop bop doop bop a doop ba. Doop a doop. Ba doop a doop. Ba doop ba 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 doop ba ba. Not too promising, I must say. Um, not promising at all. Yeah, I think we're out of rock formations to check. Alright, so I'm going to assume that gold is going to have to come entirely from trade, which makes me kind of sad. Oh well. We can deal with that when we get to there. Um, kind of want to see if I can force someone to go start making a parka. Oh, we've got plenty of cloth. Alright. Hey, we got an escape pod with Zellion. Female space refugee can't do intellectual, dumb labor, social, or artistic. 
Very neurotic. Uh, that mental break threshold is very high. Jealous, that's a problem. Um, military scouting. So what, she like an Eagle Scout or something? Boy Scout? Girl Scout? I guess since she's female, but like Boy Scout skills minus the Girl Scout cookies. And a novelist. Um, yeah. Not a great colonist. Great with animals, just not a good colonist all around. Like, dumb labor, research, and you're a novelist and you can't do artistic? Come on. We'll fix you up, but we won't try to recruit you. That just seems unnecessary. Um, let's do... I guess set for prisoners, or, yeah, we can rescue. So let's do set for medical, and rescue. Yep, you're going to be on your own once you get fixed up. Honestly, I mean, I guess if I have the time to waste time on YouTube, so um, definitely part of the uh, glitter world. Yeah, what is it? Glitter world uh, lifestyle. That's the word I'm looking for. But at the same time, like, yeah. I probably wouldn't make a great off-world colonist just with my current mindset. I probably wouldn't be great at mining and stuff like that. I'm not a huge fan of manual labor. I'm sure I could do it if it was necessary. Like that's that's not that big of a problem. But I don't know if I'd want to do that. I don't know. I guess it makes sense as a game mechanic, but this, like, colonists being unable to do a specific task just seems kind of weird to me. Like, how are you completely unable to... Well, I guess, okay, un unable to socialize. That kind of makes sense if you're just kind of weird that way. But, like, unable to make art, unable to do, well, I guess unable to research your art kind of makes sense as well. Wow, we get a lot of chickens. I don't care if some of them starve. But when you get people that are like the like an assassin or something, um, that's a backstory class I've seen in this game before, that are unable to do anything but like shooting, melee, and cooking or something like that. Like how, do, how do you... How are you not able to do construction? Like, you can be bad at construction. That's perfectly acceptable but like uh, unable to do construction that's that seems a little weird to me all right someone go deal with zellion's infection Z infections multiple like yeah no i mean there's, I've definitely peop met people in life that really shouldn't be holding a drill. Like, at all. Or a hammer, for that matter. And I'm not saying, like, I'm a great carpenter. I'm not. I've done very limited carpentry work, and I hated every single minute of it. But how do you just... Ref why would you refuse to do it in a situation like this, where you're just stranded on a random planet? Like, that just doesn't make sense to me. And hey, we've got a boomalope. And it's almost trained. Yeah, I don't really care about your infection. I just kind of hope that you get fixed up and leave soon. Although, now that I realize... Um, 
Wow, York doesn't like you either. I wonder why. Oh, I think York is the one that dislikes women. Isn't he? Yeah, dislikes women. That's why you're just like, no. I don't like you because you're a woman. Even though I just rescued you. Oh well. Hey visitors, how you doing? Let's um build some more beds. That seems to be something we're gonna need anyway. And let's also make a couple vents uh, here and here, and might as well put one there as well. Keep all of the temperatures going pretty well. Rare thrombos. Hello, thrombo. Try taming you. 1.2% chance that you're going to attack every time we try to tame you, but I'm not too worried about that. I'd rather just tame you. Though, to be fair, last time a Thrumbo attacked my base, it did not end well. So that might not be the best idea. Um, allowing them to be tamed. Yeah. We could really use some, um, traders. Actually, we've got comm consoles, don't we? Now we do. Let's do, let, let's put in a comm console. Might as well just put it here. Stick in the party room. Maybe an orbital trade beacon. Uh, I don't know, somewhere over here. Might as well. And let's just expand the animal area one so that the chickens aren't just constantly starving. These chickens go through a lot of I guess grass would be the what they go through. Although I guess there is a there is a kibble recipe. Or maybe there isn't. Question mark. Alright, let's do uh let's do fire foam. You know, in case a fire starts in our mostly wooden base. And let's see where TVs go. Probably enjoy. Tube television. Eight components. Wow. Um, might as well put it like... Yeah, I'm going to put the TV here. Because then chairs can go there. And then I can still fit like a pool table over there or something, I don't know. Let's do, let's make a pool table, by the way. There we go. Now that we have cloth. I think our joy room is about to get filled. Like, completely. Where is, there we go, room stats. Workshop, still counts as a workshop. Oh well. Oh no, one of our chicks is getting eaten by a warg. I don't really care all that much. Wow, that necessitates slowing the game down to very slow speeds. That's kind of obnoxious. Oh well. Someone was in a poor mood for a split second there.
You know what I don't have enough of? I don't have enough lights. Oh! I was gonna make a med, uh, sick bay this episode, wasn't I? I just remembered that. Um. I guess I can set up the blueprints, but that's probably gonna be a next episode type of thing by now. Let's, um. Delete some zones for one thing. I'm gonna put the sick bay here. And let's make it out of. Well, might as well make it out of limestone or something. Uh, let's make it big. I remember one issue that we ran into pretty early on uh, last season is that our sick bay was kind of small and people, whenever they were sick, got sad. Which is not something that we want, because sad people heal slower. That's been scientifically proven, I'm pretty sure. So remember, kids, if you're depressed, <laughs> life sucks. Because not only are you depressed, which probably... But you'll also heal slower, which probably won't help much with your depression. Um... Yeah, there, there's a different joke that I was about to make with that, but I decided I should probably not make that joke. It seemed like a much worse idea. Oh no, we've got a crazy turtle! That's attacking! Hey, Schaefer. Go deal with it. You're remarkably good at dealing with things that require a, um... Well, definitely not a light touch. But, you know, you're you're good at dealing with this sort of thing. And turtles are... pretty good at... dealing with the... your particular brand of, uh, dealing with problems, I guess. Wow. Just taking shots. Like a... Munhausen syndrome patient, I guess. I don't know. What, el what else would you compare that to? Oh look, the warg is eating another chicken. Whatever. I don't care that much about them. they were so smart, then why are they getting eaten? Plus, we got plenty of chickens. Like, a bunch. Like, the chick 28, which means we've got at least 28 baby chickens running around. Like, that's ridiculous. We don't need that many. Please, Warg, call the population. Although, I'm probably going to be singing a different tune towards the end of win winter time but that's going to be towards the end of winter time not right now we're still in the 10th day of fall so far could do with a couple more uh, limestone bricks I believe yeah I'm going to have you start doing that well I didn't finish my sick bay like I wanted to do, but I definitely got started on a sick bay and lost a couple chicks to wargs, but I don't care about that very much. And on that note, I'm probably going to end this episode before anything really bad happens. So like, share, comment, subscribe, advise, idea, tell your friends about me, get my subscriber count up past 20. I could do with some double digit or triple digit I guess now subscribers. That's three stars according to my rating system. Double digits only two stars and then single digits one star. Which means that yeah, like it's a logarithmic system. Anyway, do that. Tell your friends. Help me turn YouTube into a job. That'd be kinda cool.
even though I've probably learned to hate it pretty fast. And on that note, and me completing this research of fire foam, I am going to end this episode. Tune in, uh, I would say tomorrow, but it's not going to be tomorrow. Actually, it might be tomorrow if I'm getting my t wisdom teeth out on Friday. Anyway, tune in next time for our next episode of RimWorld, where you will find out what I decide to research after Fire Foam. Alright, bye!